Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, bringing you cool technology with my tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and other geekery. And this is my review of this right here, the Geek Desk V3. I've also done an unboxing and assembly video, and I'll link to those in the description and at the end of this video. So let's get to it. The reason I got this desk was for my wife because she has sciatic nerve issues and it can get painful for her while she's sitting at this desk for long periods of time editing her YouTube videos and helping me with mine. So the Geek Desk V3 here is the perfect solution for both standing and sitting at the computer to work and easily moving in between both. The Geek Desk V3 that I have here is the large frame in black and the 63 inch by 31 and a half inch beach veneer top. This works well for us because it'll fit two people side by side comfortably. The table height range goes from a low of 23 inches to a high of 48 and 3 quarter inches. This range is great because it easily accommodates for sitting at the desk and it goes high enough for a person standing on a treadmill at the desk. We'll eventually get a treadmill to go with this desk so working on the computer isn't such a sedentary activity. So far, my entire experience with the GeekDesk V3 has been awesome. I can easily say that the quality matches the price tag. It showed up at my house in great condition. It was packaged well. The packaging can definitely withstand the normal abuse of shipping. If you want to see how it's packaged, click this annotation for my unboxing video. The assembly of the desk was very easy. By far the hardest part of assembly was putting in the screws that attached the base to the tabletop. That did require a little bit of strength, but I think most people will be able to handle it. The directions say to visually center the frame on the desktop, but I took it one step further and I measured it out to be more precise. It took me about an hour and a half, but that's only because I was messing with the cameras for filming. Normally, I would guess that it would take about 30 to 45 minutes to put this desk together. Some things that I like about the design of the desk are the beveled edges and the rounded corners of the tabletop. This gives the desk a really nice look. Another thing I like are the holes in the crossbeam. This allowed me to easily attach a board to the crossbeam and mount my UPS and Wi-Fi access point on the back of the board to get them out of the way. I didn't want those things on the floor and I definitely didn't want them wasting space on the desktop. So this ended up being a good solution. I'll most likely paint the board black so it blends in better with the desk. With a few black zip ties and a couple of custom made ethernet cables, I was able to tidy up the cabling pretty well. And a geek review is not complete without a critique of the manual. And yes, I follow the manual. You can take my man card away if you want, but I don't mind. Overall, the manual is good. I'll rate it a B+. Here are a few suggestions on how to improve the manual. Show and talk about all parts. There were washers that came with the M6 screws and they weren't mentioned or shown in the manual. This caused me to have to go back and put a couple in that I missed originally. In step two, the control box image is flipped horizontally. In step three, two of the M4 screws are shown much smaller despite being the same size, which makes it kind of hard to see them. In step six, what's shown as the longer side of the arm should be the shorter side. Like I said, nitpicky details that don't really cause any problems assembling the desk. So in conclusion, the Geek Desk V3 is well worth the five weeks it took to show up. The quality is excellent. It was easy to put together, it's easy to use, so I would recommend the Geek Desk V3 to everyone. And that's about it. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more geekery, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.